glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sometimes you fight your neighbors just a little bit harder than everybody else. Pittsburgh and West Virginia, both teams on the field. Kickoff is looming. Intensity is rising as we get set for the backyard brawl. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Pittsburgh has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. West Virginia's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Nice run up the middle. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Boy, is back deep to return. Boy, fields it at the 22, and he's taken down at the 28. Returns for a gain of six yards. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Two down, two down. 17's Mike, Mike 17. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on down. the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Ready. 
Get to that quickly. He's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Five yards. And here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! Tackle at the 37. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Myers is back awaiting the punt. And he's tackled at the 32. Return for a gain of seven yards. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That makes it second and two times. Two times. Down at the 32 yard line. No gain on the play. Third down. He sails it long. He's taken down at the 24. The receiver does a good job here of finding the gaps in the coverage that the blitz left behind. That smart play allowed them to pick up a big first down. And I love the toughness here by this quarterback. I'm sitting in into the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. Got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Quick throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 10, knocks the ball loose. And it brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the 10 yard line. this one out to the left. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He's out of bounds at the two. That brings up fourth and goal. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. West Virginia could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cornhuskers came into the game ranked 10th. After the hard-fought loss, will the Polsters keep them high in the rankings? The unthinkable has happened. A major upset. The Horned Frogs leap to victory, 27-24 in another game. We take you out to a battle in Conference USA. There was never any room to breathe in this game. 
UMass gets the win, 31-28. Wow, you can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Runs outside for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he hits him hard at the 46. Gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 50. 17 spike, Mike 17. Little handoff. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. Connor gains about four yards on the play. The 43 yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Shy of the sticks. Quick pass. He's brought down in the open field. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. This is the ninth play of this drive. Throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. And down he goes at about the 17-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. This is the 11th play of this drive. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Number 35 makes the tackle at the 12 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. They're going to go for the easy three here. Pittsburgh can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up, and he's got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Iowa and Iowa State square off in the battle for the redesigned Cyhawk trophy. This one was tight. The Hawkeyes walk out with a seven-point win. Elsewhere, let's have a look at what's going on in Oxford. And for Ole Miss, they've now dumped four in a row. The Tigers win it, 28-27. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Right, check, right, 80. Back down, right. Tackle made right around midfield. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down at the 47. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Touch this one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Mike 17, Mike 17. Here we go, right? And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. Called a loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 15-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings up third and 12. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go. Fires quickly to the tight end. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. So at the end of one quarter, and this one's knotted up at three. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. They bring him down in the backfield. Number two takes him down behind the line at the 49-yard line. Fourth down. Winslow to punt. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He gets to about the 34-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Fires to his receiver, first down. That's a gain of 17 on the play. First down. Check nine, check nine. Hey, D line, let's get in there. Let's get in there now. He airs it out. Can't haul it in. From the 49-yard line, second down. Caught and big hit there to stop him. Number 47 brings him down at the 46-yard line. Third down. He's going right. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Game 15 on the play. First down. Larry, Larry. Let's see it out. 47 Mike. 47 Mike. Mike, 47. Thanks. Rain. 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 Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Roger, Roger. He tackles him for a loss. That was a loss of four yards. That makes it 37. It's the ninth play of the drive. Just throws this one away. They'll line it up for the field goal. West Virginia is looking to go up by three. Kicks away. Not a very good attempt there for the sophomore kicker. 3-3 tie. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Nice run to the left there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 43. right around the 42-yard line. That's a great play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum, possibly, for this defense. From their own 42-yard line, second down. And a tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it 35. Watch the out, watch the out. Brought 
first down right around the 36 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 36 yard line. Two down, two down. Mike 35, Mike 35. He's taken down around the 33 yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Gain of one on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Mike 17. Mike 17. All right, D, let's run. All right, D. Ready. Line 80. Wide. 80. Caught open field, and he tackles him hard at the 20-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Big play there and now they're looking at first and goal. It's first down and they'll be looking for six points here. Rid of this one. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike 17. Mike Ready, 17. Hot. Green 19. Hot. Green. Hot. Got the corner. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. And it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. An 11 play, 79 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 10-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. And times 23 yards. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Gain of 11 on the play. First down. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. You better be afraid of me. You better be afraid of me. 47 Mike, 47 Mike. Mike 46. Check, check, line in. Check 26. Quick, switch, switch. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 37. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. Fires it out, and down he goes at about the 31. Number 10 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Roger, Roger! 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. All right, let's check, go. check. Yes, yes, yes. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. They're about four yards away here on third down. Hey, 
and he's going to be sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. Pittsburgh up seven points. He fights forward to about the 29. Gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and one. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. What's hot? What's hot? Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up down. for the first down. It's Here third down and six to go. Ball on the 24. Mike 17. Ready. Green 90. Green 90. Slings it. West Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. The secondary decided to drop back into coverage here, and there was nobody open for the quarterback to deliver the ball to. Good job by the D. Myers fields it at the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail-biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. Tackled after a decent pickup, and they may need to hurry here. Well, you'd think so, but there doesn't seem to be much urgency on the field right now. He wants it all. West Virginia is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Makes it to the five. Call it a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. A six-play, 57-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. 
He's to the 20. Brought down at the 21. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's going to air it long. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Here we go. Makes the grab and steps out right away. complete he's got room to work he's tackled in the open field so they pick up quite a few yards on that play Kirk well that was an excellent route and he did a great job of holding on to the football from the 46 yard line first down fires out quickly to the tailback tackle made at about the 39 yard line the Panthers are going to call their second timeout. Throws and it's incomplete. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Seven yard line. Column of losses being thrown from the play. Fourth down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Gets it out quickly. We've played a half. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This David is David Pollock here in the studio, as always, to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. but. You know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. He'll return it from the one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 24. 
And he's tackled at the 32. Winslow awaits the snap. And down he goes at the 42. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Gets out to around the 48. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That brings up second and one. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Larry, Larry, Larry. Watch two, watch two. Let's go defense. Out of the Check 15, check 15. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. Looking right, intercepted. Oh boy, I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing, when you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. From their own 37 yard line, it's first down. He's at midfield. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Tackled at the 37 yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 37. Mike 17. Mike 17. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's a carry. Nice run there. Hunter gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Once and all, going deep. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. the tight end gets so open on such a big play. That was poor defense. Looks like there was some miscommunication between the safety and the linebackers, which caused for him to get so open. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Caught 
out in the open. Tackles around the 31 yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. Throws out and through his hands. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own 37. Got him. And he goes down quickly. Hits on the tackle at the 44 yard line. Third down. Watch nine, watch nine. He's tied to me. He's tied to us. Here we go. Green the hammerhead. Got an opening. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. First down. Get him, get him, get him. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Check, check. Nice run, and he's brought down. With the tackle, call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Rifles it left, and it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. The ball pops free at the 30. He steps out at the 28. review this fumble and I've got to tell you I think he was down before the ball popped loose I don't know about this one Brad they called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call after review of the play the ruling on the field is reversed well after seeing the replay it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball yep those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Pittsburgh is up seven. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That brings up second and five. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Ready. Gets to about the 37-yard line. No gain. Fourth down. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He makes it to the 38-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Down he goes at the 39. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Six man. Check girls, check girls, check girls. 47 right, 47 right, right, 47. Let's go. Line it up. 
Swings it out there incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. From their own 39-yard line, third down. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. receive and here's the wait a minute the up back's got it he's tackled at the 45 yard line they don't pick up the first down and the ball will change hands so you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around Pittsburgh is up by a touchdown Fights forward to about the 43. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 43. Mike 17, Mike 17. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike 17. Mike 17. Red, 68. Red. He makes his way to about the 38. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. That's a gain of two on the play. Fourth down. Try to change the field position with this kick. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. He might have a chance. Touchdown, Mountaineers. the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown the extra point to tie this game up and he converts the extra point Lambert looks ready to kick this one off. Boy, fields at the goal line. Tackle made at the 26. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. Well, this is where we're really going to find out how this team can rebound and what kind of leadership that they have. You know, the last time they were out there, they turned the ball over, and now we're looking at a tie football game. So this is where the leadership really needs to step up, and this quarterback needs to be able to provide that. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 29. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it third and one. Roger, Roger. Mike 18, Mike 18. Let's go. Come Here on. we go. Up, 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 up. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Loss of one yard. That'll make it fourth and two. So at the end of three, good game here, 17-17. All tied up and we head to the all-important fourth quarter. Myers, back to return it. 
Tackle at the 30-yard line. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. So here we are early in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game and a big, big possession coming up here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Man can't tack on any yardage. Number 10 on the tackle at the 38 yard line. He's got an opening. Tackle made around the 47 yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. Quality gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He makes his way out to about the 35. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of five on the play. That makes it second and six. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Third down now. They need to get it to the 25. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the four. That's good for a game of 29 yards. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled at the one. Shell gains around three yards on the run. That brings up second and goal. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. That makes it third and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And the goal line defense digging in here. and he dropped it. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. They're going to go for the easy three here. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Kicks up, and he got it. 
Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's get you up to date on what's going on in L.A. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. Stanford has the lead, 14-7. Just a field goal difference, Reese. 20 to 17 here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after Still that costly down. penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Connor gains about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 16-yard line. Second down. Mike 17. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Makes it out to about the 30. From their own 30-yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 43. it to the 47. First and 10. Ball on the 47. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. it out to about the 40. With the tackle, that's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it third and three. Here's the eighth play of the series. Gets it out quickly, and he tackles him hard at the 24. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. Makes it out to about the 16. That makes it second and two. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tight end. He's taken down at the 14. Number 35 brings him down to the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. Nice run there. 
So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. Tight end right. Tight end right. Three down, three down. Hey, check my oh, hey. Motion, motion, motion. Hey. And he hauls that one in. And they push him out at the 33-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Right and left, right and left. Three down, three down. 47 yards, 47 yards. Mike, 47. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Number 47 brings him down at the 46-yard line. Right, 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 right. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. 47 yards, 47 yards. Right, 47. Let's check, go. Check. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Ready. Right. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. Pittsburgh's going to take their first time out of the half. West Virginia is up a field goal. Fires across the middle, brought down around the 38-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. Man left, man left. It's like those two were playing catch out there. Two minutes left in the ball game. Quick throw, and he is drilled at the 30. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no-huddle attack. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. From the 23-yard line. First down. Here we go. Green, 88. Green. Run, run, run. Smith, left side. And down he goes at the 11. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes this is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, West Virginia. A big, big score here late in the fourth quarter, and now they've given themselves some breathing room in this football game. And he hits the PAT. So a nine-play, 84-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 27-17. He'll return it from the three. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left in the game. Passes, and it's almost picked off. Fork was the intended receiver on the play. 
That makes it second and ten. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Mike 17. And they got him. Loss of eight yards on the play. Check, check. That'll bring up third and Omaha. Omaha. Throws incomplete. This is incomplete. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. That makes and it it's the offense down. that takes the field on fourth down. Three down, three down. 17 is Mike. Mike 17. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. This one's in the books. The Mountaineers get the victory, 27-17. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? West Virginia came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.